in first corinthians chapter 3 verse number 16 know ye not that you are the temple of god and that the spirit of god dwelleth in you the holy spirit dwells in me so i am led by the spirit i am endorsed of the spirit the same spirit now lives in me the spirit that gave birth to me lives on my inside so i don't start need to start looking at the mountains i look up to the mountains to the hills no no mountain no hills the spirit that gave birth to you now lives inside you so his leading will be inside his leading will not be outside his leading will be inside because he lives inside he can't live inside you and be leading you from outside do you know what i'm talking about he can't live inside you and then be leading you from outside he lives in you to lead you from inside the leading will be inside it will not be from outside it will be inside out, not outside in. Please stay with me. So, direction, therefore, is not outside. Direction is inside. Because the Spirit of God dwells in me. Look at John chapter 14 verse 16. John chapter 14 verse number 16. And I will pray the Father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. All right, so that promise Jesus has fulfilled it. He will abide with you for how long? Oh, I didn't hear that. Can I hear it better? How long is the Holy Spirit going to abide with you? Forever. No condition. He will not abide with you forever if you remain a good boy. He will not abide with you forever if you behave yourself. He will not abide with you forever as long as you are. No, no conditions. He will abide with you forever. You know, some people don't believe it. Because they are not taught. They are not taught. The Holy Spirit stays in you to help you out of sin. The Holy Spirit doesn't run away from sin. It helps you out of sin. The Holy Ghost is not afraid of sin. That's why he's in you to help you. He is your helper. The Holy Spirit does not desert you or abandon you when you do wrong. He stays with you. The Holy Ghost is not a fair weather friend. You know fair weather friends. When it is good with you, they stay with you. When it is bad with you, they abandon you. Then when you have some money, they come close. When things are rough, they abandon you. Holy Ghost is not a fair weather friend who only comes when you are behaving right. In fact, he likes to be there when you are behaving wrong so that he can have something to work on. He's not a fair weather friend. He's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. He will never leave you. Never, never, never. Never, ever, never, ever, ever, never, never, ever. He will never abandon you. He will never leave you. He will stay with you forever. When you are down, he will be down with you to spring you up. When you fall, he will go to the ground with you and roll off his sleeves and get you up. That's his work. That's why he's to stay with you until the redemption of the purchased possession. Glory to God. He will never leave you. He will never abandon you. Glory to God. David had just committed sin. He killed a man's, a woman's husband. Collected the wife from the man. That's not good. That's not right. But look at David now. He begins to pray. Creating me a clean heart. Under the Old Testament. Jesus has not died. Cast me not away from your presence. That means even though I've done bad, I know I am still in your presence. You didn't hear that. He didn't say you have cast me away. Uh -uh. He said cast me. That means all this while from when I did the wrong till now that I'm talking to you, I'm still in your presence. So David knew that he was still in the presence. Take not your Holy Spirit. That means he knew that the Holy Spirit was still with him. That means David knows better than many pastors today. David knows better than many bishops 
whom the Holy Ghost leaves them every time they do wrong. You know, who loses salvation many times a day? They lose salvation many times a day. Yet David knew better before Jesus died. Eons of years ago, he says, I will dwell in your house forever. He didn't say I will visit. He said, I will dwell. David talked about eternal salvation. With long life shall you satisfy me. Long life is eternal life. And he explained what he means by long life. You shall satisfy me and show me your salvation. So this long life will be expressed in salvation. David understood what many preachers today are still jumping all over the place and, and fighting themselves on. Take not your Holy Spirit. Shagadaga. Are we saying that once you are in Christ, you can live in hell? Of course, you know that's not what we're saying. John 14, 17 and 18. John 14, 17 and 18. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not. Neither knoweth him. But you know him for he dwelleth with you and shall be where? In. Shall be where? In. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. The Holy Spirit is in me forever. Jesus said in Matthew 28 verse 20, Matthew chapter 28 verse 20, Lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5. Hebrews chapter 13 verse number 5. Let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as you have. For he has said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Give me the amplified and I want everybody to read with me like a mass choir. The amplified version. Let's go if you can see it because it looks tiny. Let your character or moral disposition be free from love of money including greed, avarice, lust, craving for earthly possession and be satisfied with your present circumstances and with what you have. For he God himself has said, that's where I want us to read from, I will not in any way fail you nor give you up nor leave you without support. I will not, I will not I will not in any degree leave you helpless, nor forsake, nor let you down. Relax my hold on you, assuredly not. Glory to God. I will not, I will not, I will not. Emphasis. I will not let you down. I will not fail you. I will not forsake you. Assuredly not. I mean, what can be more assuring than they go by the gas? Uh, uh, uh. So the Holy Spirit is in us. Romans chapter 8, verse 9. Romans chapter 8, verse number 9. Romans 8, 9. But you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. Somebody said me very loud. I have the spirit of Christ right now. See that's why you're called a son of God. Jesus said he will be with you forever. The Holy Spirit is in me now. Can you say that very loud? Say it again. Say it again. No shout it like you know what you're talking about. Full time. He's in you. He's not in the earthquake. 